Let's bring some extra joy to your graduate this year. I'm going to show you how I made these two really awesome graduation cards. I popped these up so we have some dimension. Stay tuned. All right, let me show you all the supplies I'm going to be using for these two wonderful cards. This is my new graduation 6x6 six six paper pad from Echo Park. I just got that the other day. I will link that in my description box. And I've chosen two pieces here. This is my Versafine Onyx Black. I'm going to be stamping these pieces. And my block, of course. And these are the three pieces of paper I've chosen. This is one of my cut aparts I'm going to use. It's got the mortar board on it. So I'm going to be fussy cutting this out and putting it on dimensionals right on top of that. I think that'll be really cool. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I've got both my diploma and the mortar board. Just like so. And then this is one piece of my background paper. And I thought I had the other piece. Let's, let's get out a silver or something similar here. Okay. And I have this really sparkly holographic silver and it's a scrap as well as this gold scrap and I'm going to be coloring my mortar board and my diploma with my alcohol markers here are my card bases This set is from Technique Tuesday. It's got all kinds of different, I might put that on the inside of the card, as well as, con, oh, let's see, congrats grad. Um, this says congrats on it, so I'll do like way to go. out of the way and we'll stamp the inside of our card gold out I'm going to use the golden glitz also and with my black If you've been with me any length of time, you know that I like to stamp the inside of my card base first. That way, if I happen to make a little boo-boo, I can just turn it over and then stamp and then cover the mistake. And voila. Like that. <laughs> example there. That happens a lot. The uh, ink block gets away from me. There. Okay. Now let's see. There are some stars here, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to use a star. And I'm going to use my gold. This is uh, Delicata. 
Golden Glitz. Some added interest there. Congrats, grad, glad, Congrats, grad. And then we're going to do way to go. Same thing with the stars. Okay, so the inside of the card are done. We'll put those aside. We will cut our batting pieces. One gold and one silver. Five and a quarter by four. five and a quarter by four I got this fancy paper from scrapbook.com it was really fun for Christmas but it's definitely a must for our star graduates oh, let's go ahead and cut these pieces while we're here This is going to go on the gold one. This is going to go on this one. So let's do, let's jump down another quarter of an inch to do five by three and three quarters so we can see more of that fancy paper. Like so. Okay, this is directional, so let me cut this off because I'm doing portrait style. I want to do my smaller number first because I want I want the diplomas to be going this way. So we'll do the three and three quarters first, and then the five. If, if our card had been landscape, we would have cut the other direction. Okay, so that blends quite well with the little tie on the diploma, I think. Now let's cut these pieces. Now if you notice... The cut apart starts right at the bottom where you would cut off the, the hole for the six by six. Perfect. You can line it, line it up just right.
Okay, there's one. And this one. Okay. Let me go ahead and get matting for these pieces. I think we're going to do this for this one. And then this for this one. Oops. That's a little wide. No, not too bad. Perfect. I don't think we need matting for that one. I think that's perfect the way it is. Okay, good. Let me see if we need... Should we use well, let's do let's do white matting I think so let's cut this is not quite three and uh, okay so we'll do like just a little over three to a little over three. How's that? Perfect. Okay. So now we're done with all the cutting. Now the fun stuff. Let's take my scrap and we're going to stamp these pieces. So I'm going to do two mortar boards and one diploma. doesn't want to stay put so I'm gonna go ahead and put um, I'm gonna put some temporary adhesive on this stamp to make it stick there we go okay Because the diploma is white, I'm just going to do some highlighting with gray. I'm going to go ahead and going to Let's see if I have black. Okay. Highlight with black. Okay, 
This is just a Sharpie. And then I have a dark gray. It doesn't matter if I go out the lines because I'm going to cut it. That way you can still see the the cord plug there. I don't know what you call that. Oh, I just had a thought. I'm going to get out my gold wink of Stella and do the cord. Too cute. All right, let me find my Wink of Stella's. Okay, I could not find my gold Wink of Stella, but I do have silver. That'll give it some nice glitz. And then I have... Let me fix this up a little bit. Then I have a gold Sharpie. There. How's that? Okay, now we're gonna cut them out. Okay, let's get as close as I can here without totally destroying it. Okay, there's that one. Okay, let's cut out our diploma. Okay, I think I'm going to spruce up this a little bit with the black. There. Okay, so there's two pieces. And then the last mortarboard. All right. Let's go ahead and attach this.
go off the edge just a little bit, but that's okay because we have the card base. Let's put this on the card base. Get everything done at once. This is called assembly line. Very popular. I love that gold. Now, we're going to go ahead and put the pieces on with dimensionals. I got these from Amazon. They're not really high, which is fine with me. Could have probably used some mini dimensionals. All right, how awesome is that? Okay, we're just this will go on the front. This is my, where I made my mistake, remember? But we're just gonna cover it up. Perfect. And there is card number one. It's got both the mortarboard and the diploma. And then this is just gonna have the mortarboard right there. But popped up, of course. These cards are sure to brighten up your graduate's day. Thank you so much for joining me, and I want to wish everybody who has a graduate, whether it's high school, college, graduate school, nursing school, etc., just have a wonderful time and a blessed year. Bye-bye.